Hi Sean, it's Angie. What I want to do is I want to show you how to use uh, the back end of WordPress and this is really extremely, it really is very easy and I'll probably break this up into a couple parts of showing you how to do the um, uh, adding a post and then also doing the galleries. So probably first we'll do is galleries. So what I want you to do is I want, to, want you to click on the link that I had sent you in the email with your username and password, and I want you to enter those in. I'm going to go ahead and put mine in. Okay, this is what's called the dashboard of uh, your system and this is what you'll see every time that you log in to the back end. So the first thing that we want to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close up all of these since what we're going to be working in is the gallery. So open up the gallery like that if it's not already um, opened down. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go in and I'm going to show you where the other galleries are. So we're going to go to manage galleries. And you'll see here all of the galleries that are listed that I have created. And if you'll notice, they all have unique IDs to them. This, dis this distinguishes one gallery from the other. If we go to albums, you'll notice that I have different albums in here. I've got RV for rent, wraps, used, new, and custom. Um, these are albums and then I have galleries that are placed in the albums. It just kind of helps to organize it a little better for you. So you can see like um, RV for rent and it's going to show you all the ones that are listed under there. So this just gives you, it, this just shows you all the galleries and it organizes them a little bit better. Now we're going to go to Add Gallery and Images. This is where you'll go when you want to add a brand new gallery to the system. The first thing you want to do is go to Add New Gallery. You're going to give a gallery a name. Um, typically one that's really good for search engines. This is what you want to, um, you want to name it. Uh, like I would typically tell what kind of a vehicle it is, is the best idea. And uh, like be descriptive, like if it's a Ford, you may want to put what type of a Ford it is and then, and then call it wrap, just like I have done on the other ones. Um, like I do Ford F-150 wrap. You do that once you add the gallery, then what you want to do is you want to hit upload a zip file. So what you want to do is back on your computer is you want to create a zip file with all the images in it. This is the easiest way to uh, load the photos into the system. And what I would do, it, it, it's either called, you're either zipping them or compressing them, whatever your computer calls it. Um, and then all you'll do is you will browse for that zip file wherever it's at and select it. And then you decide what gallery to go to put it into. What will normally happen is the latest gallery you created, which you have to do that first, you have to create the gallery, it will usually be listed here on the top. So then you would cl click it and then you would hit start upload. And what it will do is it will create or it will um, load all the images into that gallery. Um, also back when you added an, an important note, when you add the new gallery, after you create that, it's going to give you a little line of code up here that, um, will allow you to put, you'll take that code and you'll put it into a post. What I typically do is I copy that line of code. So once you create the gallery, so this is the step again, once you name the gallery, click add gallery. There should be a line of code that is right up here. It looks like I'll put a test gallery in, in here. Test gallery. And you'll see what I mean. Click add gallery. And you see this little line of code up here. What you want to do is you want to highlight that, Sean, and then go ahead and copy that code. Use your shortcut keys and copy that. 
and then you would go to upload a zip file. Find the file, load it to test gallery, and hit start upload. So what this line of code is going to do is when you place that onto a post, which I'll show you how to do in the next tutorial, it will pull in the images and display them for the gallery 61. And you'll see if you go into album, you'll see that my test gallery is down here. So it, it was created. Okay. So that's how you add, that's how you add galleries and how you add images into the system. If you need to take one out, you just go to manage gallery and then you can go to the particular gallery. Let's look at like this one. You want to look at it. And if there's an image that you want to take out, you just put a check mark there, hit delete images, apply, and it will take that image out. So it's as easy as that if you need to take one out of that particular gallery. So that's, that's pretty easy. We'll go back to the dashboard here. And that's how you manage the galleries.